Welcome back to Rich Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday we pick up right where we left off last Sunday. Jesus has just told everybody that they must eat of his flesh and drink of his blood if they want to have life within them, that he is the bread of life. Now, obviously, he's going to have some complaints and some people questioning because the Jews among them say, don't we know who this is? Don't we know that this is the son of Joseph, kind of our local carpenter guy? So Jesus understands and hears their murmuring, and he stops them, and he reminds them that he came down from heaven, that he is the bread that they are supposed to have within them to have everlasting life. So now this is the second time that he's saying it. Must be pretty important if he says it a second time. I wonder if he's going to say it a third time. Hmm, we'll have to see next week. But here towards the end, Jesus really reminds them that he is from the Father and that he and the Father are one. How many times do we forget about this? Even in our own prayers, where maybe we pray to God, the Father, or we pray to Jesus, the Son, or maybe we even pray to the Holy Spirit. But sometimes I think we might tend to forget that they're all three the same. Yes, different persons, but one trinity. And if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what else will. A triune God who humbly comes down, serves his creation, and then gives his very life for them to have life. There's no greater sacrifice. The Lord loves you. He's shown it time and time again. Lean into his love this week. Let him love you and love him back. Thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to seeing you next time on Rick's Reflections. (laughs) 